Today I will discuss about keratometry and I am going to cover these following topics. Keratometer is an optical instrument used to measure the curvature of anterior surface of cornea across a fixed cord length that is 2 to 3 mm which lies within the optical spherical zone of cornea. We identify radius of curvature of anterior cornea by keratometer using the formula R equal to 2i divided by O. Then we identify the dioptic power of anterior cornea using the formula D is equal to N1 minus N2 divided by R. Other uses of keratometer are non-contact tear breakup time test, differentiation of corneal astigmatism, detection of irregular astigmatism. Principle of keratometer Cornea is transparent structures but still few rays get reflected from anterior cornea. Due to reflection of few rays, cornea also acts as convex mirror. The image size formed by the anterior cornea will decrease with the increased curvature of cornea and vice versa. From the size of the image, that is first Purkinje image formed by the anterior cornea, radius of curvature of anterior cornea can be calculated using the formula R equal to 2i divided by O. Here, R is equal to radius of curvature of anterior cornea, I equal to image size, and O equal to object size. Then, dioptic power of anterior cornea is detected by using the formula D is equal to N1 minus N2 divided by R. Here, D is equal to dioptic power of anterior cornea, N1 equal to refractive index of keratometer that is 1.3375 and N2 is equal to refractive index of AR that is 1. Now types of keratometer. Manual keratometer. Corneal power is determined by manual adjustment of Myers by the examiner. Accuracy may vary person to person and requires skill to perform the test. These are further two types, one position in which both horizontal and vertical meridian can be measured by keeping the keratometer in the same position, as for example Bosch and Lomb keratometer. Two position keratometer, after measuring one meridian, keratometer needs to change the position to measure other meridian, example Jabal and Schutz keratometer. Automated keratometer. Corneal power is automatically measured with an automated keratometer. Accuracy is high and test can be performed easily. Example Humphrey autokeratometer, Canon autokeratometer. When autorefractometer and keratometer are incorporated together in one instrument, it is called autokeratorefractometer. Parts of keratometer External parts. These are the external parts of keratometer. Internal parts. These are the internal parts of keratometer. Procedure of keratometer. Instrument calibration. Calibration is done with a steel ball of known curvature by matching the keratometer reading and known curvature. Patient preparation. Request the patient to sit comfortably by chin in the chin rest and forehead in the head rest. Occlude the non-testing eye. Instruct the patient to keep eye open and blink normally. Now focusing Myers. For horizontal meridian, plus sign of central and left image are superimposed by adjusting the horizontal nope. For vertical meridian, minus sign of central and upper image are superimposed by adjusting the vertical nope. If astigmatism is present, the plus and minus sign won't be superimposed, then the instrument needs to rotate till they are superimposed. So, interpretation of keratometer 1. Spherical cornea In spherical cornea, there will be no difference in power between the two meridians, and myers are seen as perfectly spared. 2. Astigmatism Different in power between the two meridians. And horizontal oval mire is seen in the with the rule astigmatism, and vertical oval mires are seen in against the rule astigmatism.
three irregular cornea that is seen in keratoconus. In irregular cornea, Maillard shape will be irregular, that will be not perfect sphere. Now, range of keratometer. With manual keratometer, 36 diopter to 52 diopter can be measured. If corneal power in any meridian is less than 36 diopter or more than 52 diopter, then we have to add an extra lens to measure corneal power. This procedure is called extended keratometer. Remember, these extra lens are placed before the eye pitch, not in front of the patient's eye. Now, for higher than 52 diopter, a plus 1.25 diopter, that is equal to 9 diopter, lens is placed over the eyepiece, which allows us to measure up to 52 plus 9 diopter equal to 61 diopter. But the reading that we will get in keratometer after placing plus 1.25 diopter in front of the eyepiece won't be the corneal dioptic power. We need to modify this reading to get exact corneal power. The formula is K reading after placing plus 1.25 multiplied by 1.185. For example, if with a plus 1.25 diopter lens, K reading is 48 diopter, then the final power will be 48 multiplied by 1.185, that is 56.88 diopter. So after placing plus 1.25 diopter lens, our K reading was 48 diopter. But the actual keratometer reading is 56.88 diopter. For less than 36 diopter, a minus 1 diopter lens which is equal to 6 diopter is placed over the eye pitch which allows us to measure up to 36 minus 6 equal to 30 diopter. And the final K reading will be K reading after placing minus 1 diopter multiplied by 0 0.840. For example, if with minus 1 diopter K reading is 36 diopter then the final power will be 36 multiplied by 0 0.84 equal to 30.24 diopter. Relationship between the dioptic power of cornea and radius of curvature of cornea. We know that D is equal to N1 minus N2 divided by R. Here D is equal to dioptic power of anterior cornea N1 is equal to refractive index of keratometer that is 1.3375 N2 is equal to refractive index of AR that is 1 and R is equal to radius of curvature of anterior cornea. So D is equal to 1.3375 minus 1 divided by R or D is equal to 0.3375 divided by R or D is equal to 337.5 divided by R. Here we have multiplied by 1000 to convert into dioptic power. So R is equal to 337.5 divided by D. So the relationship between the dioptic power of cornea and radius of curvature of cornea is dioptic power of anterior cornea is D equal to 337.5 divided by R and the radius of curvature of anterior cornea is R equal to 337.5 divided by D. Indications of keratometer 1. Estimate radius of curvature and dioptic power of anterior cornea 2. Measurement of corneal astigmatism If different between K1 and K2 is equal to the cylinder power revealed in retinoscopy or autorefractometer then it's called corneal astigmatism and if the cylinder power revealed in retinoscopy or autorefractometer is more than the difference between k1 and k2 then it's internal that is lenticular or retinal astigmatism total astigmatism is equal to corneal astigmatism plus internal astigmatism 3 detection of irregular astigmatism 
In irregular astigmatism, Myers will be distorted in many directions instead of Ubal, which is seen in regular astigmatism. 4. Detection of progressive myopia. In curvature progressive myopia, over the time, K1 and K2 will increase. 5. I will power calculation. K1 and K2 are second important parameter after axial length to identify IOL power. 6. Pre and post surgical astigmatism. 7. Non contact tear film breakup time test. Fluorescent dye is applied and patient is asked not to blink. With the break of tear film, Myers get distorted, which is break point. Break point less than 10 seconds is considered dry eye suspect. Stay with smart optometry and study optometry smartly.